Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wala hawla wala quwata illa billah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Alhamdulillah Allah takdirkan kita bisa berkumpul dan meskipun tidak secara fisik tapi Alhamdulillah Allah kasih kenikmatan umur panjang dalam kondisi pandemik ini tetap kita harus jadi orang yang pandai bersyukur atas semua nikmat Allah untuk teman-teman semua Insya Allah selama satu semester atau bahkan selama satu tahun ke depan Insya Allah kita akan mencoba belajar bahasa Inggris bersama-sama Dan insya Allah apa yang dianggap sulit kita akan coba mudahkan dan yang sudah mudah kenapa dipersulit. Saya sering sekali ada orang bertanya kenapa sih harus belajar bahasa Inggris? Of course, it's definitely a big question for us. Tentu itu pertanyaan besar. Why do we need to learn English? It's very simple to answer. Cara jawabnya gampang banget. First of all. English is a global language <clears throat> all around the world using English. That means if you learn English, that means it's like the world is on a hand. Jadi kalau kita belajar bahasa Inggris, seakan-akan ya kita memiliki dunia dalam genggaman kita. Yang kedua, dalam kehidupan sekarang kita semua tahu bahwa enggak ada satupun hal yang berhubungan dengan pekerjaan atau hal-hal apapun yang enggak ada pakai bahasa Inggris. Ya. Jadi Saya rasa dengan dua alasan itu pun sudah cukup menjawab dan menjadi motivasi bagi kita semua untuk so increasing our English skill and knowledge about English and hopefully we can use it in our social environment. Okay, uh, first of all, my name is Mr. Dudi Miftaul Huda. You can call me Mr. Dudi, like other student always call me Mr. Dudi. And I live in Cibatok, but I really like English and I really like sport, uh, especially basketball. And now I'm, t- I'm I try to love uh, ping pong because we have to know that in learning we have two basic need. First of all, we have to be healthy, and second, we have to be happy. If we are happy. We are healthy. If we are healthy, we are happy. So, stay healthy, stay focused, and let's learning English together. Oke, okay, untuk hari ini, insya Allah materinya adalah What expressions are used in this dialogue? Can I get you a glass of hot tea? Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. What are you doing? I am reading this magazine. Why don't we go swimming? That's a good idea. The social function of giving an offer to facilitate interpersonal communication between different people. Offer means to give something to someone, which can be taken as a gift or a trade. Offer means to give help. It can be taken or refused. Offer can be in terms of food, money. Solution, or friendship. Would you like some cakes? Would you like me to accompany you? Is there anything I can do? What can I do for you? What can I help for you? Do you want some help? Shall I clean your room? May I clean your hands? Can I take your book? Yes, please. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. It's just what I want. If you don't mind. 
Thanks, but I'm okay. No, thanks. No, don't bother. I can manage, thank you. Not at the moment. Suggest means to present a suggestion that is to introduce or purpose an idea or a plan for consideration. Suggestion are abstract and can be in form of solution, advice, plan, and idea. Do you have any suggestions for me? Would you mind giving me your suggestion? Can you tell me what I should do? What should I do? Okay, anakku. Uh, rumus yang ada di sini harus kita perhatikan dari kalimat you should itu diikuti oleh kata kerja pertama. Kecuali pengecualian ada dua yaitu what about and how about itu harus diikuti oleh kata kerja ing. Okay? Do you understand? Here is the structure of giving suggestion. You should clean your room. You had better clean your room. You ought to clean your room. I suggest you to clean your room. Let's clean your room. Why don't you clean your room? Couldn't you clean your room? What about cleaning your room? How about cleaning your room? Yes, you are right. It sounds good. Okay, I will. Yes, let's go. It's a good idea. Okay, if you say so. Why not? I will think about it. No, thank you. I don't feel like going. Sorry, I think I will go out first and then do my homework. No, let's just go to the supermarket. Sorry, I can't I have previous engagement. No, let's stay for a while. Would you like some cookies? Thank you, but I'm on a diet. How about a cup of tea? Or why don't you try this hot milk? I'd like to have a cup of tea. Unfortunately, I'm late for the meeting. Nah, that's what I say. How is it? Is it easy or is it difficult for you? Don't worry guys, nggak usah khawatir if you saying that the materi or the theory is so difficult for you, don't worry. Nggak usah khawatir, tenang aja. Because prinsip bahasa Inggris adalah learning by doing. Jadi kalau kalian sudah melihat materi yang tadi, merasa kesulitan, ingat. Bukan hanya kamu yang mengalami itu, masih banyak yang mengalami kesulitan juga. Jadi, you can focus and you have to learn more and more. But if you want to contact me and try to ask about the theory, I always open my hands for you who want to uh, question anything about English. Jadi kalau antum masih merasakan kesulitan tentang materi yang diajarkan tadi, boleh bertanya ke teman atau kalau perlu silakan hubungi saya. Saya akan selalu terbuka untuk sharing pengetahuan. Karena pengetahuan semakin bertambah, semakin berkah kalau kita sharing, kalau kita bagi. Pengetahuan yang kita miliki, yang penting adalah pengetahuan yang berkah. Apa itu berkah? Ziyadatul bil khair, berlipat-lipat kebaikan. Ya, gitu aja. Insya Allah, kita akan ketemu ke pertemuan berikutnya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.